sugared almonds with some sugar shell, a sugar candy. We have not had any real food today. <laughs> oh, geez. Okay, kids, close your eyes. It's turning a little PG. We're Mateo and Misha. We are currently pursuing our goal of pulling off the ultimate Italian road trip, traveling to all 20 regions of Italy. And we've started off in Sicily. Today, we continue our journey in Sheffaloo, getting our fill of ricotta pastries, Sicilian sweet treats, and seeing how many times Matteo can say the word pistachio. What do we plan on doing today, Michelle? We plan on finding the best Sicilian desserts that Sheffaloo has to offer. There we go. We're gonna get pumped full of sugar, get our little sugar energy levels up. Matteo and I have a big sweet tooth, so there is a chance we'll be in a sugar coma at the end of this day. So this is a granita, and it's a typical Sicilian breakfast. Basically, it is almost like crushed ice. They use a lot of fresh ingredients, so like lots of fresh fruits. They have lemon, they have mint, they have almond, pistachio. There's so many different flavors you can choose from. You can either get one or mix and match. So this one that I got is strawberry and lemon, and you can also get cream on top. Cream is called panna, so when you order the granita, you get it con panna if you want the cream. And you can also order it with a brioche, which is a sweet bun. And you can either eat it on its own or dip it into the cream. It tastes delicious. It is so refreshing in the summer. It's kind of interesting. I thought it would be really sweet for breakfast, but it's always so hot so early in the mornings. It's not a bad way to start the day. I got an almond and pistachio granita with cream and a brioche. It's very hot right now, so this thing is melting like there's no tomorrow. I need to dig in a bit. I've only had one pistachio granita since I got to Sicily, and well, it didn't have much flavor, so like I was hesitant to order another one until now. Trying this pistachio one here, it's packed full of flavor and it tastes like they little ground up the little pistachio nuts again and made it into a beautiful little pistachio slushy. All right, so real talk. We are busy on the way to find dessert number two. However, that's not being very successful. We seem to be finding more crowds than we are desserts and so I guess we carry on looking. That's awesome. Uh, Matilda and Marco, they, they are our subscribers. And yes, you are the best, guys. <laughs> yeah. Okay, thank, thank you. Guys. you. Yeah. Busy, right? Bye bye. Right. Hey guys, have a good day. Oh, that's so cute. That totally just made my day. Augusto probably wasn't the best idea because there are lines everywhere but this cute little place called cannoli hand make your cannoli to order it's like a work of art fun fact this is my first pistachio cannoli it's got pistachio ricotta with some pistachio shells chocolate chips a cherry some sugar sprinkle stuff and crunchy shell All I can say is, is it's like pistachio heaven. It's so smooth and creamy and a little, oh, look at that. I love pistachio. So this has definitely gone to the top of my pistachio sweet treats list. Delicious. This is probably the most beautiful cannoli we have seen so far. And it's from a place called Cannoli. So I'm very excited to try it. I got the traditional cannoli and they put a little pistachio with a cherry and some chocolate chips. Let's see how it tastes. Wow. That is unreal. It literally tastes like heaven. It's so good. It's so creamy. Which one do you prefer? They are completely different, but I do prefer the pistachio. You got some powdered sugar on your shin there. I don't love pistachio as much as Matteo does, but I actually think I prefer the pistachio cannoli. Like, it's really good. 
mine, like the traditional one, tastes like ricotta, but this one just has that kind of extra kick of flavor. So, yeah, I think the pistachio one wins. Good choice. Good choice. Tails wiping me down with a hand wipe because I got powdered Tails. sugar on it. <laughs> Michelle found this super cute little bakery called L'Angolo delle Dolcezze. And we got a couple typical Sicilian sweet treats. In Sicily, when you buy little treats like this, they always put it in some paper wrapping and a ribbon. And well, today we are going to be like animals and sit here in the little park close to the sea and eat our desserts. Are you ready to crumble? I feel like I'm opening Christmas presents. Look at that. Look at that. Six euros twenty for all of this. Okay, I have to start with this one because it looks like a donut, and I haven't had a donut in forever. So let's see. Looks like there's a little cream in there. Mmm, that's a donut, but like a Sicilian donut. There's definitely cream in the middle. That was so good. I think the middle might have ricotta, kind of like a cannoli. I feel like there's sugar all over my face right now. <laughs> what do you think? It's a ricotta donut. Right? Okay, it is ricotta. That's what I thought. Oh, it's good though. Yeah, sugar all over your pies. Wait, you take... That's good. <laughs> you take bigger bites than me. You ain't half the donut already. <laughs> that was a lot of sugar. Mm. This next delicious thing looks kind of like a cream puff. It's like a ricotta cream puff. It's very good. The puff is very puffy. It's very light. The ricotta here just, it's like made from like, I don't know, heaven's milk. I don't even know. It tastes delicious. I feel like I'm gonna just keep eating this and Mateo's not gonna get any. Wait, give me some. I'm going into a sugar coma. This is not good. Okay, seriously, my finger has now officially attached itself to the puff and sunk in. So I think I'm just gonna, just don't, is that a candied orange? Oh God. Kids, don't try this at home. Oh, <laughs> My hand is. But that's not the same. You see, the other one had like. But isn't that, it's the other one was like donutsy. This is. Like a cream puff. Yeah, it's like a cream puff. It's got like I, layering. Candy like fruit is really good. We want that. Okay, my hand's like literally sunk into the side of this thing. I can't even detach. No. <laughs> I can't detach my hand from it. The whole thing will fall apart. Oh, wait, how, your hand's yeah. dirty. I want to lick that off your finger. Oh, jeez. Okay, kids, close your eyes. This is turning a little PG. I already feel ill. This is something pistachio-y. It's like a pistachio ball, pistachio biscuit. Ooh. All I know is it's pistachio beautiful. It tastes just like it did the first time I came to the city. I love pistachio stuff. I don't even know how to just how do you describe this? It's like a sugar pistachio biscuit mixed with love, made with love, straight from the heart of the baker. Mm. That is a lot of pistachio. It's really good though, but it almost feels like they ground up a bunch of pistachios and like shoved it into like a sugary biscuit. Kind of like you said. Wow. As small as this cookie is, I don't even think I could eat a whole one. It is good, but you'll probably be in love with this if you love pistachio. I'm good with pistachio, it's very yummy. But I think, Mateo, you're gonna have to finish this one. <laughs> I feel disgusted. <laughs> oh, there's a bee on our orange. Oh no, bee, go away. I'm just kidding, you're almost going extinct. I love you, just please don't sting me. Don't drop our desserts. Next up is the almond. So kind of like the pistachio one, it's like an almond cookie. Mandorla. Mm. Insert, yeah. I like this one more than the pistachio. No bees? No bees. 
It kind of tastes like a macaroon, but better. That makes sense since macaroons are made out of almond. Mm. It's like really dense in the middle. But oh, that is good. But I think this it's delicious. I think I prefer this one to the pistachio. You know what? I might as well. Really? Mr. Pistachio prefers the almond one. Minutes on the lips, laugh on the hips. Next up, we have the famous Sicilian little cake. It's called a cassata. It's like a little cake with some candied fruit. I don't know what the green is, but I can tell you what it is going to be in my belly. Okay, here we go. Mm. The cassata, you'll never guess what's in it. Ricotta. No. Oh. Almonds. Really? Almonds and sugar. If you like sweet things and you like sugar, like, this is a winner. It's so, so sweet. It's like sugared almonds with some sugar shell, a sugar candy, sugar white stuff on top, mm. sugar brown stuff in the middle. It's sugar. Maybe this is like the big one. So you get like a smaller one, this, and it's called a cass cassatina or something like that. It's a smaller one. And then you get like a massive cake as well. I don't know who eats these in full, but this is like sugar and beautiful. Beautiful, crisp sugar. You don't eat too much sugar and your like throat starts getting like really dry. <laughs> Just had water, it does not seem to be helping. So I feel like this is gonna be the final strike in the sugar coma, even though we still have a little bit more to go. Oh, ew, it's squishy at the bottom. <laughs> It is so sweet. It's really good though. I feel like I just like ate a cup of sugar. The green's almost like a gelatin. Almost like the same consistency as a fondant. As a what? Like a fondant, like on a cake. It's, it's like thick, it's like thick sugar. It's delicious though. I don't think I can have another bite after this. It's so sweet. Uh huh. Ooh, the little candied cherry is delicious. There's only one. Why'd you eat it? Come soon. This last little fruit looking thing is something called Fruta Martorana. And it's marzipan. Essentially, sugar and almond flour, from what we understand. And they're always shaped like little fruits and vegetables when you go into the sweet shop to buy them. So we picked the little strawberry one because I thought it was pretty cute. It's the last one, I don't... This one's going to be a sugar bowl, so... I don't think I have it in me yet. Do you want to take the first bite? I don't know. Seriously, as a sugar lover, I'm actually, I'm feeling pretty I know. And we amateurish just, right now. We pulled a rookie move today. We have come here and had, what is the first? We had a cannoli. Granita. A granita. A brioche. And then literally just And then desserts. sweets. We have not had any real food today. Or barely any and water. And that explains why my stomach is hurting. And why I'm getting a headache. <laughs> the final sugar that broke the camel's back. I was gonna have to go first because I need a minute. There you go. Ooh. What does it taste like? This one's essentially an almond biscuit. This is actually really good. Yeah. It's soft and fluffy. Mmm. I was expecting it to be hard. Uh -huh. It's very soft in the middle. It's delicious. It's very like soft on the inside. The outside looks kind of hard, but when you bite into it, it's actually very soft. What do you think? I think I need some water. All of the things we had today were so good. Very sweet. They all taste actually very fresh, like yeah, literally made delicious. today. If you're in Sicily, you have to try these things. It's definitely worth a few bites of everything. Maybe bring someone to share yeah, it with. And, and water, <laughs> lots of water. There's no way I could have eaten this stuff on my own. No. And we haven't even scratched the surface of Sicilian desserts, and so... They'll probably be peppered into our upcoming videos. Yeah. And in our next episode, we embark on our most exciting Sicilian adventure yet, riding through the streets and waters of the exquisite Aeolian Islands, an archipelago of volcanoes that dominate Sicily's northern shore.